Hello there and welcome back. My name is Robin. I'm so glad you could join me today. With this busy Thanksgiving week upon us, I thought I would take a few moments to share with you some of the projects I've been working on and a few areas of the house that I have changed up in the past couple months since I haven't been posting very much lately. Just last week, the urge to start a sewing project was so strong. I think it's because the weather is starting to turn chilly and we're kind of getting ourselves prepared for a long, cozy winter. It seems like every single time the weather changes like this, I want to start like a million different sewing projects. So I decided to embrace the feeling and started on making myself a new throw quilt. I chose a very easy nine patch pattern in red and white and I will link the tutorial I used down below. This is the easiest quilt block I've ever made and it went together so quickly. I just love the classic design. I still need to add some binding around the outside and then I will most likely do some hand stitching on the empty blocks but I am loving how this turned out. I also had a chance to freshen up the entryway table using mostly thrifted items. A pair of mismatched candlesticks to which I added my favorite LED twisted candles to. I can link these down below if you're interested. I then added a small potted plant for a pop of green, a small terrine was used as a planter, and a thrifted plate for the saucer. For some fun, I added one of my favorite thrifted dog figurines. Isn't he just so cute? And then I tucked this small lamp into the corner to add a little coziness right inside the front door. Above the table, I kept this lovely mirror, which I thrifted years ago. It has so many beautiful features, and it's still one of my favorites. And to finish off the space, I added this newly thrifted chair, which ended up being just the right size to tuck in next to the table. I love how this turned out, and only the candles and the plant were not thrifted, which I think is pretty amazing. I recently found this tiny painting while thrifting and wanted to update the raw wood frame with a wash of paint. So I dug out some basic white craft paint and thinned it down with some water and gave the frame a couple coats. And since I had the paint out already, I added a few coats to this thrifted oak frame as well. And I love that it kind of gives it a pickled finish, which I think is pretty cool. I added a small painting to a grouping I already put together in the living room quite a while ago. And I think it's a nice addition. You may have noticed a little Christmas creeping into the house in the form of a screensaver on my TV. This is one of my favorites and it's accompanied with some beautiful classic Christmas music. So I will link it down below in case you'd like to enjoy it yourself. And since you haven't seen the babies in a while, they are always close at hand today. They are snuggling in for a little nap. Here's little Rayma, isn't she just adorable? And then of course we have Quinn as well. And I am not sure how she thinks that this position is comfortable, but she sleeps like this quite a bit. I finished this paint by number. It's by Paintworks a couple months ago. And I realized when I got done painting this frame that it fits perfectly. So I got it all framed up and it now looks like this. Now I need to figure out a place to display it. So I'll be thinking on that one for a little while. And since I'm sharing paint by numbers, this is the one I'm currently working on. It was sent to me by One Day Savings. I'm trying a new technique by putting painter's tape around the outside in hopes that it'll give me a nice crisp, clean edge when I'm done. They also sent me this kit, which I cannot wait to get started on. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. So this will be the next paint by number that I start working on as soon as the one I'm currently working on is done. They also sent me two diamond painting projects, which I have never tried before. There's these little pieces, they call them diamonds, that you use this tool 
to stick onto the sticky backed design like this Care Bear that I picked out for Zoe. I've added a few just to see how it works and I'm thinking this is going to be pretty fun, much less messy than paint by number, but it's still pretty much the same concept. And then I also have this floral one for me as well. I will leave a link down below for one day savings. They have lots of crafts and projects to choose from at great prices. I added a few changes in my office to my flower wall as well. Here's what the area looked like to begin with. I added this tiny pair of vintage prints, which I found at the thrift store oh, a while back now. Then I added this thrifted oval frame. The image is from a vintage card that I trimmed to fit and I think it is so pretty. In the dining room, I removed the desk from the corner and replaced it with this beautiful thrifted chair. And then in the opposite corner on this small table, I removed the plant that had been there for the summer. I first added this beautiful thrifted lamp that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think it is so gorgeous. And then for a quick and easy display, I added a brass easel that was from the thrift store and two of my favorite vintage prints. Aren't they fun and they add so much character. So those are just a few of the projects I've been keeping myself busy with the last couple months while I have been sick. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. And of course, make sure to check out the description box for all the links that I mentioned in today's video. Have yourself a great day. Bye.